Hi, I'm Mary Hamill, and this is the High Speed Rail News Channel update for the third week of August, brought to you by Global 5 Communications. California has made history, breaking ground on the first high speed rail terminal in America. It happened in San Francisco. It's being called the Grand Central Station of the West, scheduled to open in seven years. The Trans Bay Transit Station will be the northern terminus for the high-speed rail line planned for San Francisco to Los Angeles. California's congressional delegation was there, along with Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood. We would not be here today if it weren't for the extraordinary courage of the delegation from California, led by the Speaker, Stimulus-funded high-speed rail is all about providing jobs for Americans. The Federal Railroad Administration will be allocating an additional $2.3 billion for high-speed this fall. As expected, California and Florida, the big winners in the first round of funding, have submitted grant applications for more than $1 billion each. The Florida Department of Transportation's Florida Rail Enterprise is hosting informational meetings for women and minority-owned businesses qualified to provide services for the first high-speed rail line in America, which will run between Tampa and Orlando. The meetings will be held in Tampa, Lakeland, and Orlando from August 31st through September 2nd. To learn more, visit floridahighspeedrail.org. A wide range of services are needed. Construction, design, signalization, security systems, railroad and transit operations, legal services, accounting, public relations, marketing, and more. I'm Mary Hamill, and this is your High Speed Rail News Channel update for the third week of August, brought to you by Global 5 Communications.